Hi guys, welcome back, and we will be analyzing the FA Cup final today. According to the team sheet, both Arsenal and Chelsea played a 3-4-3 formation, and Arsenal used the same system against Chelsea, just like how they did against Man City and Liverpool a week ago. Arsenal remained the same pressing system. The Arsenal front three start pressing as soon as the Chelsea centre backs get on the ball. Then both Shaka and Zabayos men mark really tight against both Chelsea midfielders Kovacic and Jorginho, not allowing them to turn or receive the ball easily. Therefore, it forced the Chelsea defenders to go long all the time. Looking at how Arsenal pressing early on in the game, Pepe curving his run trying to block the passing lane to Alonso. Aubameyang pressed straight away as soon as Aspley Quetta gets on the ball and the two Arsenal midfielders were already man marking Chelsea's two midfielders whilst Lacazette marking Zuma. That leaves Aspley Quetta the only choice to go long, which is what Arsenal wants. However, Frank Lampard found a way to break Arsenal's pressing system by creating an overload in the midfield. Mason Mount and Pulisic are both wingers on the team sheet, but they often come into the midfield to create a 3 versus 2 in the centre. It can be seen by looking at their heat map. That is how Chelsea scored their opening goal. Pulisic came short to receive the ball which dragged Rob Holding out of position. Then Pulisic did a little shoulder check to see where Holding is and came to the central position to get the ball again behind Arsenal's midfielders. He turned and smartly passed the ball in behind Rob Holding for Mason Mount to chase into. At the end, they somehow scored and get themselves in front in the FA Cup final. The two Chelsea midfielders, Jorginho and Kovacic, looked to receive the ball again. This time, Shaka stayed tight with Jorginho, but Ceballos was caught too far away from Kovacic. Mason Mount also comes short to the midfield trying to overload, but Tierney stepped up to mark him. Chelsea's midfielder's ability on the ball, they still managed to switch the ball as Ceballos was not tight enough to Kovacic. That makes the Chelsea players having possession much higher up the pitch. And again, Mason Mount comes short to try to create a 3 versus 2, but Pepe learned the lesson and he came into the midfield to avoid being outnumbered. Kovacic couldn't find any pass forward which forced him to make an error that led to his first yellow card. Arsenal will transform to a 4 at the back when they try to play out. Chelsea's player will press really tight when Arsenal's player try to drop deep to receive the ball. An example is that early on in the game, Chelsea pressed really high with Alonso pressing Bellerin and their centre-back Rudiger stepping up to mark Pepe even though he tried to receive the ball near his own box. But just like the game against Man City, Arsenal were confident enough playing out from the back and nearly hurt Chelsea. Arsenal transformed to a 4 at the back when they build up just like how they did against Liverpool and Man City. Maitland Niles comes into the midfield to receive the ball, but David Luiz chose to make a long pass instead to Aubameyang to run in behind. It seems wasteful as 9 times out of 10 these long balls wouldn't work, but that is actually Arteta's tactics. As Arteta knows the Chelsea defenders are man marking their front man really tight, therefore, Arteta instructed Lacazette and Maitland Niles to come short which attracts James and Zuma to also step forward. But then, that leaves Aspley Quetta 1-on-1 -on -one to deal with Aubameyang. That is how Arsenal scored the first goal. Niles came short which attracted James out of his line. Lacazette also came short which made Zuma step out and left the spaces behind him. And Aspley Quetta was left alone to deal with Aubameyang where Zuma was miles away from him. At the end, Asper Quetta gave away a penalty and Aubameyang scored the first goal for the Gunners. Chelsea's attacking pattern changed in the second half. As Chelsea's defenders are not confident enough to play from the back, they used the target man Olivier Giroud to lay off the ball and created a few chances from there. More interestingly, instead of Mason Mount coming into the midfield position, Rhys James, the right wing back, inverted and tried to create a 3 versus 2 in the midfield after the halftime break. James appeared in the central position looking to receive the ball. 
that created a three versus two in the central position, and James can easily turn and play as this tactical change clearly confused the Arsenal players. And again, Rhys James coming in attracted Arsenal's left wing back made Noyles to also come inside to mark him. That leaves Mason Mount a lot of spaces in the wide areas, but the cross from James just wasn't good enough at the end to create any chances. Arsenal then went on and scored another brilliant team goal thanks to Aubameyang finding the net for Arsenal again. Kovacic got a red card later on in the game and Arsenal won the game comfortably as Chelsea struggled to create anything towards the end after being a man down. Thanks for watching our video, if you like it, go smash the like button, subscribe our channel and follow our Instagram as well as Twitter account. Goodbye!